Today I have Mr. Hussein with me. He is coming to us for a very amazing, you know, technology to charge the hybrid battery. You know that hybrid cars and electrical cars sometimes reach to the state that is, you know, the, the battery is bleeding. Bleeding in the sense, you know, the battery goes very, very down and it will stop charging. It will stop taking the power from the battery management system. At that, at that point of time, you need to dismantle the battery outside charge it fully and then or charge it at least to 50 percent 70 percent put it back in the car and then it will start working again uh, let me show you this device this is an uh, you know uh, uh, a dc power supply that is up to 150 volt because the hybrid battery is 140 volt so you can set this uh, power supply uh, uh, up to maybe if you want you can set it to start with 140 okay and then okay and then you connect you connect it to the hybrid uh, uh, leads okay sorry 140 see it's very accurate if you want to ch charge small batteries also you can you want to charge any battery you can. This is beyond the battery management system. So if the battery management system in here, this is this is will charge the, the battery uh, after the battery management. So it will avoid the battery management system acceptance to the charge. So you will force this battery to charge, and then when it reach to the certain point of voltage, okay, and y then you can uh, hook it up to the car and start the charging. I carry this one because this is really very important. You, uh, when you charge uh, using the battery management system, the battery management system monitor the temperature degree of the of the uh, battery, okay? Uh, and then if there is a high temperature somewhere, it will stop charging. That's why you have to do it manually because this is will, this process will take around 30 minutes. Uh, let me show you the leads from here, you know. You have to take the battery uh, power from this positive from here, negative from here, connect it to the uh, uh, battery back system, okay, and then uh, manually, uh, I, I, I recommend, I advise you to keep monitoring this. You have to start with, my advice to you, you, you start with two ampere. Okay, here the ampere is not shown because there is no battery connected. When the battery connected, it will show you the current. You have to put it two ampere. Don't go very high, don't start very high. And then, you know, you keep measuring. See, this is very uh, accurate and very nice uh, thermometer. Uh, you know, uh, remotely you can check the battery. Okay, you can check the battery like this and keep... Uh, one guy has to sit while charging the battery, okay? One guy has to sit down and monitor this process. And if there is any temperature increased over 40 or 50, I recommend immediately you have to switch off this power supply, make it rest for some time. It's a very clever idea that you have a fan. So this fan will also cool and speed cooling the battery charging process, okay? Uh, you can, if you see the, the, the charging process is going uh, uh, well and the temperature is down, uh, maybe you can increase the current and make it up until 5, 8, 10. So it's an amazing device. Uh, uh, save a time for you. Why this device is important? This device is important because, you know, without this device, you need to dismantle each and every cell of the alkaline battery uh, away from the battery back and charge them, uh, you know, separately. This is will cost you time. This is will cost you effort. This is saving your time and saving your effort. Thank you very much for watching us.